How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Sun. In the last episode, we finally beat Hala and got ourselves our first ride, Pokemon. It's Tauros. Yeah, we completed the grand trial here on Melee Melee Island. But, um, and they were telling us it's time to go uh, outside of the island and expand into our island challenge. But, um, there are a couple things that I did want to show off before we get uh, totally started here. Number one, I hope everybody's had a wonderful Thanksgiving, a uh, great, great time. Everybody, I hope everybody's had just the loveliest time, the uh, happiest Thanksgiving you could have. I had a great one. It's been, it's been just amazing to finally, to, you know, head home. Oh, wait, this is not the place I want to go. It's been amazing to actually head home, and I'm actually recording this um, late at night at my parents' place right now. Um, it's been so nice to come home and see everybody and hang out with family and stuff. So, yeah, I want to show you guys some items, some rocks that we can break down. We got TM83 Infestation over here. Um, so yeah, there are a bunch of rocks and all that uh, throughout all the routes we've been. So if you would like to go check them out, uh, you're welcome to. There are a lot like what I just showed off. I mostly just kind of wanted to show that off there. There is one area that I wanted to explore. I don't think we're going to find the Pokemon there. But, uh, oh yeah. Check it out. Look at all these rocks we can break. Uh, it's actually down here, uh, to be honest, I, if, I'm, if I'm thinking that right. Or else this is just... Oh, we actually got away... If we go down this way, hopefully we don't run to anybody. Nice, we didn't run to anybody. Um, we can break this rock. And, well, I guess I'll, well, I guess we need to break the rock before we get there. Don't jump off. Okay, good. Uh, we can go, get, go over here and get a nugget, which is really nice. But, yeah, you, you mostly want to um, come back here to Route 1 before leaving Melee Melee Island uh, for a certain Pokemon, if you are interested in getting this Pokemon. To my knowledge, uh, this early on, this Pokemon can only be found in this area of uh, Route 1. Before heading out to... Man, this kid's just getting, like, run into by a charging Tauros. That's pretty terrifying. So, um, if you come down here, I believe, uh, and break these rocks... Yeah, what's up, man? You are a strong trainer, all right? Go on, you take on 10 Carat Hill, my friend. Even stronger Pokemon wait with you within, await you within. Now, I have absolutely no idea if, uh... If Rockruff, that Pokemon that Professor uh, Kukoi had... Um, can be found actually in the cave. Uh, I know for a fact he can be found outside. Sometimes you need to actually, you know what you can do? You can actually set Tauros charge. Well, uh, maybe we can't yet or something. I don't want to. No, I know. I know. I know you can break rocks. Um, maybe you can at this point or you got to do something or uh, I don't know. But at one, but there is a way that you can. Uh, well, I'm not sure how I did it before, but um. I'm probably just missing it because it's late and I'm tired and uh. Well, to my knowledge, this Pokemon is pretty dang rare. Uh, Rockruff being, uh, not, I, I never have found him out or in the actual cave itself. I have found him outside though, so maybe he, maybe we will run into him out there. But yeah, I hope everybody's had, I'm actually not going to waste my time fighting a freaking Zubat. Hope everybody's had a wonderful Thanksgiving, uh, if you, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving. If you're foreign and not American, I hope you guys just had a wonderful day, wonderful, uh, or, you know, wonderful time, whatever, whatever, whatever you were celebrating, wonderful, what, Ultra Ball, that early on, wow, that's actually really funny, and, okay, probably more Zubats we're running into, so sorry if there's a bit of airiness here, um, uh, into, oh, nice, Rock and Roll, uh, there's a bit of airiness coming into the mic, I'm actually in a big open place, and I'm recording on a glass table, you can hear it, I don't know if you can actually hear the glass picking up there, let's see. It says it's picking up on, like, my levels, so maybe you are. Uh, but there's a glass table that I'm recording on, so... Yeah, it's gonna be reflecting a lot, but yeah, we well, can Tauros charge, break down these rocks, which is pretty cool. Um, oh wow, there's actually a big rock there that I'm actually gonna want to come back to in my own game. Uh, for reasons I'll explain later, but anyway, um, coming out into 10, 10 Carat Hill, you'll recognize this from the demo, it's the same area where we fought, uh, that Totem Hakamao. Uh, over here, but you can get a couple items in here, burn heal, and then in this little patch of grass, just out here, you can find Rockruff. Um, to my knowledge, he's pretty dang rare, and I don't know exact. oh, Machop showed up, I don't know exactly if he can show up during the day, or the night, um, but, uh, that would be, it would be cool if he'd show up during the day, I'm, I'm pretty certain he does, but, uh, you can never be too sure with, uh, with uh, the lack of information that's out at this point. Uh, that's the cool thing about this, is like, you can't straight up Google everything, because uh, it's not it's not totally there yet, which is, you know, it's pretty exciting, I have to say. It's pretty cool to see that not all the Pokemon information is out, and you can't just go like, check game facts and all that. I was about to say, 119 H or XP, that's nothing. 
was actually not that bad, but we'll see what we can do about finding this Pokemon. I think it might be cool to use them on our team. I don't know if that's what everybody would prefer. I think it'd be pretty cool, and no, no, no Carbank. Uh, we don't want, we don't want a Carbank. Carbank is a newer, uh, a newer Pokemon, or not, a, not a newer Pokemon, I should say, because I don't know. I'm interested in using more newer Pokemon, and I'm interested in reformatting the team a little bit. Uh, but I don't know. I don't. I wish I knew if uh, if he was if he showed up during the day or the night. I'm really not sure. But uh, you know what? We're just gonna keep spinning around or not. I was gonna say, or we won't in run into a dang thing. But I don't know. Maybe I'm assuming he'll show up during both times. But Carbink is here and lovely. Uh, so you know what? We'll we'll hang around for a little bit longer and then I'll probably cut to when we get him. But I do wanna. I'm thinking about reformatting the team a little bit um, in terms of taking away things that we aren't going to be using because, you know, I want to approach this more of like, more kind of like how we approach Platinum with a planned team. Uh, so I don't really know who's staying on for now, but I'm thinking, uh, and you can, and if you guys disagree, ugh, God dang Machop, if you guys disagree, let me know. But I'm thinking right now we're going to have Beans. Oh uh, yeah, thank you very much. I prefer that a lot. Um, in terms of typing, Beans, uh, possibly Trumbeak. Uh, we're gonna have that Alolan Raichu, and I'm thinking Crab Brawler right now. We might be putting Goodle, uh, Goodle and Spoonman aside, mostly because I know Goodle evolves into an Electric type, and we'll have had one with our Alolan Raichu, which we will nickname when we get the chance. Uh, there is a nickname I really, really liked uh, that one of you guys requested, and when we get to the Name Raider, I'll of course, which is pretty soon, I think, we'll of course show that off. So I'm just gonna cut if we don't find it. Whoa, I heard a call right now. I don't know if that's. That's not his call, but we'll see if that's it, and, uh, nope, just more of my chops. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch this guy, and I will see you guys in just a second. All right, and we found a Rockruff. There he is, guys, or she. Uh, we got Rockruff right here, and that's really exciting. It is a Lady Rockruff. That's perfectly cool with me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and catch it. Uh, didn't take too long, just a couple more Pokemon uh, running around in farthest hollow here, but uh, cool that we got him, and um, yeah, so we'll... We'll probably be catching him, and then I'm, I'm just gonna go, wow, I, excuse me, two Ultra Balls, that's pretty crazy. Doesn't matter where I am, doesn't matter how long it is before I eat, I still get burpy when I record an episode. Yeah, you know what, sometimes when I record an episode, I get really kind of, my tongue gets swollen. Your tongue gets swollen when you record an episode? What are you, what are you talking about? I mean, I, whoa, he has keen eyes, accuracy can't be lowered, that's lovely. Yeah, well, you know, it's not as lovely as my YouTube channel, uh, Beans Plays. You guys can check it out, youtube.com slash Beans Plays. Beans Plays, I, I just, I just don't believe that that's an actual thing. You actually have a YouTube channel, Beans? Yeah, totally. Uh, it's the greatest channel ever, um, Beans Plays. You can subscribe right now if, oh, crap, don't, he's gonna kill it, isn't he? No. Oh, be right back. Okay, I think we've got a pretty good chance this time. Found another rock rough. Took a little bit that time. Took like, uh, I don't know how long it's been. Like, 10 minutes almost? It's actually been a lot longer than I expected. And nice, we got her. Uh, it's pretty cool. Got a rock rough on our team. And I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, so we finally got that. And if there are any objections or any replacements to the team, I'll of course update you guys. But I think I want to start nicknaming rock rough. Got a pretty good name for it based on its evolution that I think, um, it'll, I don't know, I've, I've always thought that Rockruff's um, evolution looks like it belongs in a certain game, uh, so I'm going to base Rockruff's name off of that game, we'll see if you guys can get it, uh, no, almost, wow, almost just name it, named it Head H, no, Hedge, uh, I love that name. Thought about that name a little bit ago, and we're going to add Hedge to our party. I love that name a lot. I think it's very fitting. Um, and I think for right now, we're going to get rid of... Spoonman doesn't know anything, man. Uh, so we're going to... Hedge is going to be on our team for now, and it'll be cool to have some newer Pokemon. Nice. So now we can leave uh, 10 Carat Hill, and... Uh, oh, there's an item back here. I didn't. I did not catch that. A hard stone. Wow, a hard stone right there? That's kind of really good. We can actually give that as a hold item to Hedge um, uh, for when she eventually learns some... Uh, some uh, rock type moves. I don't think she knows any yet, but she will learn them soon. So yeah, back to what I was saying about Beans Plays. Uh, Beans Plays is the best uh, thing ever, and it's my favorite. Uh, it's my YouTube channel, and you guys should all go subscribe. It's me playing games about. I'm playing a uh, Human Mon uh, X and Y. You're playing Human Mon Human Mon X and Y. What does that even mean? Uh, it's this cool new game that I do a let's play of with commentary. This face cam. 
Uh, and it's all about how you go out into the world and you go out to the islands and you catch some humans. Uh, you catch humans in what? Uh, human nets. They're called human nets and uh, you catch them uh, in there. And it's great and you do it and it's wonderful. Uh, okay, uh, so, so you're saying that you go home and you turn on your computer and I turn on my game too. My, uh, Poketendo 3DS. Your Poke- okay, your Poketendo 3D- Well, how do these rocks get rebuilt? Listen, stop interrupting my story about, uh, my amazing Let's Play channel, Beans Plays. Oh my god, I just wanna get out of here. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, my channel, Beans Plays, is the best channel ever, and you guys should all subscribe. And it's probably gonna be an episode, I don't know, like April Fool's Day or something like that. There's gonna be an episode April Fool's Day. Yeah, probably on your channel or something. Uh, that's a little... You're assuming a little bit there. I never said... I mean... I don't know. I never said that, uh... That you'd have a... Have a guaranteed spot on the channel. Like, Beans Play... Don't you have your own channel? Why do you need to advertise on mine? Um... Kinda because I'm your Pokemon and that would be really nice. Yeah, I suppose it would be. Uh, Beans, but uh... You know, we've got places to go. I don't know if we can talk about advertising YouTube channels right now. Listen, BZ, you can advertise your YouTube channel if you want to. My name is Whitaker, BZ, and I think, uh, I think we're gonna need to fight about it, okay, see? Uh, I don't wanna fight about nothing. I just wanna, uh, advertise my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash stop advertising your YouTube channel. Give me five seconds without advertising your YouTube channel. Fine, you just go talk about your game, what that I'm in and I'm the star of, okay, and then... Then I uh, will do an episode of Beans Play. You know, it's late! How do you expect me to go record Beans Play at a time like this? Uh, I don't know, I've gotta go to the Marina Man, stop, stop, the Marina Man? Don't... Don't correct my language, Beans, I'm trying to go to the Marina because we gotta head out, we gotta head out of this island, we gotta go island hopping, guys, we gotta, it's gonna be awesome, actually. Oh, Lily. Oh, Lily, my future wife. One day. It's gonna be lovely. Oh, man, that is a shabby-looking boat you got there, Kikui. That is just the shabbiest boat. Hey, Prof, you sure this thing's old? really seaworthy? Hey, no, don't go, go calling my boat old. She's not old. Call her classic. Well seasoned, yeah? Quite well, like that as a sense of history. Pew! <laughs> that thing always is shaking her back and she's freaking out. You're all done catching Pokemon and shopping. Yeah, you wanna head out with us? Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, time to sail away. Woo! Come sail away. And then Stick starts playing in the background. Oh man, it's getting dancey up in here. Woo! Really exciting. We're off! <laughs> I love it. Come on, Grandma. Kick it up a notch. If we push the boat much harder than this, we may all end up at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> You're probably just worried about your silly hat flying off. Oh wow, so nice. I wonder what kind of island Akala is, huh? And I'm like, I don't know. Let me give you this blank stare. Seeing all of Alola for myself is half the fun of doing the island challenge. I'm just like blank staring it up. Isn't this just the best, Tommy? I'm like, yeah, yes, yes it is. Let me respond to you silently and stare out the ocean pretending that you don't exist in the dead of night, in the early, early morn, actually. Did I say early morn? Yes, you did. Um, I think you also a game we, you play. <laughs> Are you gonna advertise your channel again? Yes, uh, I'm gonna talk about how again, there's a game I play on my channel called uh, Early Morn. No, there is not. You're lying. Anyway, welcome to Akala Island, everybody. Possibly my favorite of the of the four of the islands. I do love Melee Melee a lot. I also do love the next island a lot. But Akala Island, man, there's something about it that really, 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 really attracts me. It's it's I don't know. It's lovely. Yeah, you know what? Seeing Hia Hia City right now, I would say Akala Island's my favorite of the islands. Oh man, Land Ahoy! Alright, Akala Island, here I come! Isn't it a bit late to declare Land Ahoy after you've already arrived on shore? <laughs> what a stick in the sand! Help me out here, Tommy! It was funny, right? Uh, it was pretty funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. He's like super happy about it. What about you, Professor? The land is certainly a hoy, old boy. I like that she had the little dot eyes just for a second. Nebby, how did you even get out? How'd you get out, Nebby? Sullivan managed to find a shirt that goes with the lab coat, hmm, Kukui? I'm 
glad that you brought that up, because I've said that many, many times. I've told you, you're gonna scare off strangers looking like that. Nebby, back into the bag. Don't sweat it, Lily. Well, hello. Why, hello there. Nice to meet you all. I'm Olivia. And this gorgeous, beautiful lady next to me with beautiful green hair. Mallow. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mallow, one of the ca- okay. I get to know you, Mallow. I like green hair, that's cool. I was on my way to see who was pulling into port and ran into Mallow here while she was out on a delivery. Yep, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients that make up your- okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that's okay, you can walk closer to me. I don't mind, do you like my flowered shirt? Especially you two. Your Pokemon look ready to cook with gas. That's a weird thing to say to somebody, but you know I don't care because you're Mallow. And Mallow isn't the only captain here on Akala Island, of course. So what's the plan, kids? Yeah, that's up to these kids. It's their island challenge, after all. Yes, I suppose so. Okay then, enjoy your time on, a, on your island challenge, kids, along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for my chance to face you in battle when the time comes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've got. Let's go, Mallow. Oh, she's gotta go already. That's okay, Mallow. I'll be sure to see you soon, and it'll be documented on the internet forever. Bye. Oh, sorry. Uh, remember how just a second ago I said you're gonna be my future wife, Lily? Uh, this is awkward. This is very awkward. This is uncomfortable. I'm sure, she wanted to come see that you made it here, all right. But she never admitted it to you. Ha! <laughs> That's Olivia for you. She's a kind Kahuna deep down. There are three trials here on Akala Island. If you two decide you want to take on the trial straight away, head up Route 4 there and keep on going till you get to Paniola Town. Shoots, I know where I'm going first, and that is straight to the Pokemon Center. Wonder what kind of Malasada they make on Akala, eh? Maybe I'll see some shop about some shopping of my own. I should find out about the ruins for Nebby's sake, too. Well, looks like everybody's got their plan everything sort of planned out here. You made it to Akala, big boy. This means it's the whole new island Pokedex. Yeah, we've got a whole new Pokedex dedicated specifically to Akala Island. I think it's pretty cool to stop by the uh, ferry terminal real quick. Now, I don't think there's anything in of uh, super interest here. Man, I'm really glad we got Hedge on our team. You have a trainer passport. I don't think anybody really gives you anything in here. Uh, they might, but I'm not going to hang around to find out. Uh, how many Pokemon do you think there are in the world? What is it? Uh, it's about, what, 800 now? Something like that? It's got to be close. It was 721, I think, before this generation. Yeah, man, Akala Island is just really, really cool. And over here, we've got the Tourist Bureau. Uh, so they always have a Tourist Bureau on every big city. This is my favorite part of Akala Island uh, entirely. Look at how sexy I am. No, I'm just kidding. That's not my favorite part. But, uh, a little hidden treasures. Yeah, like this entire island. I oh, yeah, the official name raider. I can uh, more or less tell your Pokemon's fortune by its name. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? Yes! Which Pokemon's nickname should I rate for you? Now, there was a name that I got for Pichu that I really, really like, and I think I'm going to go with. Uh, it's not something I expected to see. Pichu, is it? You picked quite a fine nickname. I think you can give it something better. What do you say? All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and nickname our Pichu here. Somebody requested this nickname. I really liked it. I think it's fitting for it being a female Pikachu. Naming her Melee, because Pikachu, Pichu was available in uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. And as you all know, Super Smash Bros. is how I got started on YouTube, so I think it's very fitting to name our Pichu Melee. Done. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Melee. You're right, it does seem to fit it better. Nicely done. Yeah, good job, guys. Thanks for coming up with a great name for my Pokemon. You can't change the nickname of Pokemon you get in a trade. My Magnemite's nickname is Chrome Dome. That's really unfortunate. Uh, though I would probably laugh if I got something in a Wonder Trade nicknamed Chrome Dome. So anyway, all we have left to nickname really is Trumbeak. Uh, he's the only one that hasn't had a nickname. So if you want Trumbeak, I mean she, I should say. If you want Trumbeak to uh, stay on our team for a while, uh, definitely let me know a nickname for uh, her as well. That would be cool. We had Whitaker talk a little earlier. Sound a little, a little like Rocky there, Whitaker. Well, you know I try my best, baby. Well, it's not really sounding like Rocky. You know, it's just, a, it's a whatever kind of voice that is. It's my boxer voice, I suppose. Yeah, you know I'm a boxer. I like to punch people right in the face. You know how it is? That's what I do. I punch them right in the face. I swell their eyes up. One, two, f punch, float like a butterfly. Stick like a bee. My voice has changed like three times. I don't know. Uh, don't judge me. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube.com slash Please stop advertising your channel. Oh my gosh. Anyway, guys. 
Ah, these guys have been talkative today, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, next time on Pokemon Sun, we're gonna be exploring more of Hia Hia City. We're gonna go clothes shopping, gonna go check out that spectacular looking building in the back there. A lot of exploring in this brand new island of Akala to, to uh, things to see, things to do. It's gonna be great. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.